and welcome to Floyd Models Tool Time Review. Today we are looking at this. And now this is Deluxe Materials Plastic Magic. Now, glues, let's face it, they come and go. We have our favourites. Um, some things fall in fashion, things fall out of fashion. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're all after that glue, which basically is going to glue or melt two bits of plastic together, give you a perfect seam with minimal mess and everything else. So over the years, we've obviously seen various poly glues and cements and everything else come along. But I think what 90% of modellers have gone for every single time is something like, he says, we grab his, is something like this, which is your Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Let's face it, when this Tamiya glue came along for me, and I'm sure it did for you, it was a total game changer. For the first time, you had this thing where you could get a couple of parts, you put them together, you brush it on, and that was it. It evaporated, it was clean, mess-free, it dried pretty much instantly as well, and away you went. And for years, and I mean now years and years, uh, for the last sort of uh, 10 years, maybe 15 years, it's all I've actually used. Um, we've seen other things come along, there's other glues out there that roughly do the same thing, but for some reason I always go back to using Tamiya Extra Thin every single time, purely because it's my sort of go-to glue. Now, the only drawback to actually using Tamiya Extra Thin, from my point of view, when you're doing big stuff like this, it dries too quick. So if you're trying to do a big joint, so wings together and all the rest of it, you need something that takes a little bit longer to go off. So at that point is when I reached for this stuff. So this is Tamiya's, uh, this is more of a resin based one and it's more like your traditional poly glue uh, and all the rest of it. It's a lot thicker uh, and generally it takes longer to go off but it doesn't have that hot weld action. It tends to, you push two bits together, it bubbles up, it needs clean up and everything else. So it was always the little bit of trouble. But between using those two, I've been building now for the last 15 years quite happily in my own little world using those two. And then this stuff came along. Okay, so this is uh, Plastic Magic. It's not new, it has been around a while, but they keep sort of reinventing it and it comes along. So I thought, right, okay, I'm going to give it a go. So I went out and bought a bottle. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting much from it. I thought it was roughly going to be like something between a hybrid of mech or Tamiya Extra Thin or your normal sort of poly glues and everything else. I wasn't expecting anything different. And to be honest, when I first started using it, it wasn't any different. This glue is the same as everybody else's. But this one just tends to work a little bit more how I want things to work, as in my Criticism, if I have one, for Tammy Extra Thin is it dries too quick. This takes a little bit longer to go off. And when we say a little bit, we only mean a little bit, but it's that time I needed, if it makes sense, okay? It's not gonna take as long as this stuff to go off, because this stuff you can brush around, give it a couple of minutes, then put it together, you'll be fine, okay? But it's just that gap between the two. So if you had them on a little chart, I would stick it there, because it is this between one. The only thing though is that when I got this, I didn't want to just go out, get a couple of bits of styrene, stick them together for you and say, oh, it works, it's great and all the rest of it and away we go and move on. I wanted to use it in anger and to be honest, this is why I've got the A10 sat here. Now this particular A10, as you say, it's a big old kit. It has its problems, it has its faults um, and you know, to be honest, it's been a bit of a handful going together. So you need a good glue. Uh, and I've exclusively been using Plastic Magic on this entire build. And I can honestly say it has worked an absolute treat. Not only can you do big areas with it and joins, you can do nice brush seams down the middle. So you obviously bring the two parts together as you normally would like this, and then just brush down the top and it will hold and it is stable with it. The great thing as well, it goes off very quickly. It's got minimal shrinkage. There isn't much smell to it either. I don't think it's as smelly as extra thin. Um, you know, it's, it's still got a, a bit of a pong to it, but it's nothing as bad as perhaps we've seen with the other ones. But generally, it goes in as you would expect anything to do. So, without further ado, I can just show you a couple of little bits of test here. So, what I'm going to do is, we're just gonna go like that. Okay, now this is just an old bit, just to show you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna hack this up into three. Now, traditionally, when you're using extra thins and stuff like that, and to be honest, this is my go-to extra thin. If we show you down on here, you sort of come along and you can just brush it in, okay? And it sticks there, you can see it's on there like that. And again, to be honest, I haven't used extra thin in the last month. To me, that's really strong. I can smell that quite heavily. I've been using, obviously, this. Okay, and we're gonna do the same, so we just pick this up. The brush, to be honest, doesn't look very nice, but actually works really, really well, okay? And again, you brush that down. Now hopefully you'll see, or going to see, 
there we go, you can see the extra thin, because it's thinner, it's pulling up down at one end. This one here has now dried and it's fine, okay? And over here, when you feel the extra thin, it's slightly raised, because what it is, it's welding. It's like a hot action and it's welding in there and it's more aggressive than I actually think Plastic Magic is. I don't think Plastic Magic is quite as a hot and aggressive glue. So actually when you run your finger over it, when I run my finger over the Plastic Magic, it's totally smooth, no problem at all. When I run my finger over the Extra Thin, it's got a slight bump and that's because it's eating into it. So that is the big difference as you can feel it just like that. That's not to say it doesn't have any power, because obviously the thing is you can get this and we can put a little bit on there, we can get our part, we'll stick it down, it is a weld action, it will grip, it will bite, it will hold, no problem at all, and if we just give this a minute, we'll give it a bit of a pull, okay, just let it go off, but this has got really, you can probably see how much this is bending, really good bite on here you see it's starting to rip now but i am really pulling this i mean properly pulling it okay but it's got good weld action you can see actually how it's gripping down in there okay but again you can overcoat if you're in this thing of you've made a mess put quite a good dollop on there come in there Stick it down, we'll just do that one. Okay, we'll just do another one on the other side. So if you're taking your extra thin and coming along. Okay, and we just stick that in. Good old push, good old push. Just give it about the same time. And again, gripped, no problem. They're both gripped. They're in there really, really nice. And we'll do the pull test. <laughs> this one's got a more surface area. But then this guy, it's about the same time now. There isn't quite as much glue under here, but you can see, hopefully you see in there how it's pulling apart. You can see how the Tamiya glue is a hotter action. You see how much more... There you go. So you can see the difference we had, and if we take this guy now, one way apart, is that a good pull? That's what we're talking about. Okay, so they've both got really good strong action. It's just that from my point of view, when you're putting on bigger areas and strips and everything else in there and you're just trying to come in, you can put one down. If we do Tamiya. To be honest, I do a little bit more with the Tamiya one, purely because the brush doesn't hold as much. Okay. And we'll put it down. And it's glued on there. It's not oozing out the side. It's not squirting out the side. And if you were to do your standard sort of corner brush over. Okay. And it goes down there. There's no damage or anything else like that. The other thing as well, I'll show you as we're drying. If you get Tamiya and put it down, you get this stuff and put it down. You get a lot of people and they say, oh, you can't put glues down. But I don't know if you can notice, you see how this is changing slightly color? where it's eating in just a little bit, but this guy is just sat on here clear. But don't get me wrong, if you used to wipe this, it would all go, but what will happen is it will dry back. They will both shrink in, dry back, and away you go. It's not gonna cause any damage into this. Now, if anybody's sitting there waiting for me to diss one or the other, you're not gonna get it, because at the end of the day, it's a personal preference thing. What I'm trying to point out is though, is that I think Plastic Magic is as good as 
extra thin. I can find no problem with it at all. And to be honest, in testing, I've tested it on styrene sheet, I've tested it on Airfix stuff, on Rebel plastic. This is obviously Trumpeter's plastic on Hassig Hours. It works equally well on whatever plastic you're using. But I'm just thinking, if you are in the market for a new type of glue, with perhaps a slightly bigger brush, which is a nice touch with this one, then definitely I would say that the actual uh, plastic magic stuff here is definitely something worth considering if you are in the market or have trouble getting hold of Tamiya Extra Thin. Now I have been told that this stuff is ridiculously expensive right the way around the world, but Deluxe Materials is a UK company, so give it a bit of time and it will filter around. The other thing as well, you get this, okay? Now this is a brush, as you know. And it doesn't quite screw in the top because obviously if you look at the neck, get rid of that, you can see it's not going to go on. But this brush does fit down in here and does go in the corner. So that's the whole point of this. You can put it in the corner. But as you can see, this is a very fine applicator. So if you want a tiniest bit of glue, you can then put in, and get this to reflect off the light. Where's the light today? Can't find the light. There it is somewhere. There it is. Okay, so you can take a bit of glue and then just a tiny little line instead of perhaps grabbing the bigger one, which gives you a, a bigger line as you go right the way through. Also, it just gives you that ability to get further into a corner. A bit of a gimmick, because obviously I use my brush. I know what you're saying, yeah, but I use my brush. I do exactly the same. But I'm just saying, if you do want one, it is here and it does sit in there very nicely and it is just a little bit of extra it's a freebie and you're not having to use your own paintbrush which might have something on it or you forget you've used that on it and stick it in something else and away you go so there we go that is it it is as simple as that look i managed to glue it to my bench almost but there we go clean no nasties if anything you can see on here got a tiny little bit of weld action going down on there but uh, yeah, I have to say they are both clean, very nice, smart, issue free, no problem. But I don't know if you can see it down on that shininess on there, how flat that is. So, you know, where Tamiya sometimes eats a little bit further, that is beautifully flat. It hasn't affected the actual plastic at all. It's not like it's, you know, bubbled up or anything else with that. It just sits on there, does its bit for whatever it's touching. Obviously, if you play with it, like you can see down in here, when we did this to it, obviously you're gonna get some nasties off of it and all the rest of it. But generally, for just normal glue work and everything else, it is definitely something to have a look at. Is it any better? Would I highly recommend it? I will probably be sticking with this. For some reason, I like it, it works for me. That's to say it might not work for you, but actually I prefer, I prefer the brush. It's got, can hold a little bit more than the extra, extra thin brush. I know obviously, you know, you can change over brushes because I've done it before. But yeah, from that point of view, I like the brush. I find it a little bit better. It just seems to do it. I just find it's got probably a 30 second longer drying time than extra thin has. So really like that. Again, if you flood the area quite heavily, it doesn't destroy anything, it just evaporates off. So if you did accidentally drop a bit over your model, it's not gonna suddenly start eating into it and you're going to end up with a dip. It will just evaporate off as long as you don't touch it and everything else like that. So from my point of view, I can highly recommend it. If it works for you, fair enough. Again, it's one of those subjective things because in the US that's really expensive. A bottle of this is peanuts, that's quite expensive. Wait for it to filter through and it should be good. But if you can't find extra thin, definitely grab a bottle of this. Thank <laughs> you.